Good, <laughs> good, <laughs> good morning, everybody. <laughs> and while <laughs> this is a disaster, oh, great oh, start. let's god. go. What's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome to the Pleasantly Positive show where we take a look back on our week and just highlight some moments that left a positive impact on us, as well as we'll be covering some good news stories in a segment that I like to call Positive Press. I am your host, Savvy, and with me today. I have a returning guest, Pavaxo or Dallas. <clears throat> Dallas, my friend, how are you today? What's up, brother? All right. All right. <clears throat> I'm hitting my stride here. <laughs> uh, Dallas, how you doing today, man? How's that sushi that I know you're mm. chowing down on? This sushi is great. <laughs> what, what kind of sushi is it? Kroger sushi. Kroger. People be sleeping no, on no, Kroger no. sushi. No, I no, I know. No, what uh, like what is it like a California roll? Oh, or... crunchy California roll. Crunchy California. Oh, is that like was it got pecans on it? Mmm, like the little never, rice. Never had it before. Like the the crispy thingies, whatever they're called. Mm, okay, I feel like I know what you're talking. Is it like do not like a crouton, but like do people put that on salad sometimes though? You sometimes. Yeah. Is it, is it is, isn't it usually like the like the Asian style salads that they usually put that on? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, anyway, good morning and happy Easter to anybody who is here live. We're currently recording on Easter Day. Um, uh, but yes, uh, today I have a decaf cup of coffee because I already had caffeinated coffee, but I still had more hot water. So I was like, fuck. <laughs> I need me some more coffee. What are what are you drinking? I saw you got that big drink from Duncan. I have a frozen matcha latte. Frozen. I love matcha so much. So you got matcha ice cream mm -hmm. <laughs> i didn't even know i didn't i didn't know duncan had matcha i'm not gonna lie dude Dun duncan duncan's got better matcha than starbucks does i'm pretty I'll sure always go to duncan first <laughs> oh yeah absolutely i i think i remember you saying in our last episode that you had <laughs> that you were talking i think we were talking about matcha last time too i love matcha you had People your beef. throat goat tea last time but <laughs> mm -hmm. uh not so sick anymore now though right thank Finally god over. holy crap bro <laughs> you that were was knocked a... out for like two weeks <laughs> that was the worst Not thing more. i've ever experienced in my life i don't know what it was they said it was a flu it felt like the black the fucking plague bro <laughs> the plague I, yeah i thought i was dying <laughs> well i'm glad you're better now dude um <clears throat> But yeah, I think I think we got a good episode today for you guys. I know I've got some pretty good stuff on my on my look back as well as some good news stories. Uh, do you mind if I if I start us out with my look back? Oh, you go right for it, man. Bet yeah. So first up for today, um, so I I know I've mentioned it in my streams before, and I'm sure just you talking to me, you've noticed sometimes, and I'll usually play into it once I do it, but sometimes I do just legitimately like legitimately like switch like the beginning of words around so instead of saying uh uh example tournament winners i would say ornament tenors just oh, like yeah, yeah, I, um, I, yeah. <laughs> well i caught my mom uh while i was at her job she was trying she was she was just on the topic and she was trying to say uh spare change but instead she said chair spange <laughs> and i looked at her and i was like you're the reason i'm like this yep. Yep. i got it from you and i like i yelled at her <laughs> not That's angry so or anything but i was just like it's you <laughs> what'd she say uh she's like yeah i guess uh i never i'd never noticed her do it before but i also don't like sit there and conversate with my mom or are much. you <laughs> making her develop it no no i don't i don't think i talked to her enough for her to <laughs> <laughs> to have developed <laughs> i don't talk to my mom enough so well i i mean like i mean we live with each other we don't i don't know we don't have we've never been too like conversatory conversatory you, you're like you're like me and my mom like we're the same like we don't really need to speak to each other like you know yeah. all the time <clears throat> no yeah i just it's just kind of like a like if we're in the car we'll kind of just like quickly bring up some stuff or, you know, I'll ask her how work was, or she'll ask me how work was. But besides that, like, when we're at home, unless, like, a news article or something, like, she's like, oh, did you read that, you know, the... I want to keep it positive. There's been a lot of bad stuff in the news lately. But, like, oh, did you just did you hear about this? And I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but, that's, you know, we don't kind of sit there and just 
kind of chat like you would with your bros you know what i mean yeah i think the only and this is not me trying to like be negative i think the only news i really care about and that's been like kind of heartbreaking is that freaking actor dying gen z like i, I don't i don't yeah. care about anything else but like that kind of like look he hit me that look he hit me bro i was like wow and the funny thing is to that he was riding a like a i think a roadster or a sportster Mm-hmm. And I've been like actively like with the situation I'm in now that I have a little bit more freedom, I've been actively like looking into getting a bike like that, like very similar to the same style, like the smaller cafe kind of racer style. Mm-hmm. And that kind of made me push back my idea a little bit because, yeah. you know, he's 27 and he's a great actor. And, you know, he was in Gen V and also like the newer uh, Sabrina. So, teenage witch or whatever oh wait he's in that really yeah he's in that that was like one of his first things that kind of blew him up um interesting i mean i, I guess i haven't like watched really, deep enough into it to notice i was just like really sad i don't and they did you see that they indefinitely pushed back gen v's uh, production Dang. yeah um, because no, of that until it. until they figure out the i guess they'll probably try to write him off yeah probably. unfortunately i mean yeah yeah rest <clears throat> rest in peace dude no he, he was a great actor great show um yeah, I've actually thought about getting a motorcycle or like a <clears throat> like a hundred hundred fifty cc scooter kind of thing, just so it can it's fast yeah. enough to go sixty. <laughs> but well, I, mean, I mean, like here in Titusville, honestly, we have so many bike accidents. It's actually kind of heartbreaking. I know some of my friends, some of my friends, not not have been in one, but they've been close friends with. I just remember there's like a, there was a specific student here in Titusville that was in a very unfortunate bike accident, but. We gotta keep the vibes positive. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, gotta keep the vibes positive. Uh, but rest in peace. I wish I could remember his name at the moment. But... Chance Perdomo. Chance Perdomo. Yep. Rest in peace, bro. For you, Loki. I feel like a bike would be really good because, regardless of what you plan on doing, if you end up coming here or if you stay down there, mm-hmm. it'd be a cheaper alternative for you. And I think the whole entire run because bikes are cheaper. You can find one easily for maybe fifteen hundred that runs good. Oh, you can Gas. find it cheaper than that. that yeah, runs, you can find. That I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. You can find like that's like a good price bike for a really good bike. You know, I can get mm-hmm. you play like A to B for what you're doing with DoorDash, all, dude. All you have to do, do is get your little saddle bags or something or like a little back. Yeah, bag I, I thing. do. I do like those. Like they got mm-hmm. like the big like little container things that you could you know rig up. Yeah, and you'd be good to go, bro. Your DoorDashing would be probably ten times easier, ten times like smoother. Maybe. Um, <clears throat> be less money gas isn't expensive on a bike because you're not filling up as much i am in the perfect state right now to have a have a bike too you are the the thing about the thing about titusville and i think that's what makes it so dangerous and why we have such like a high kind of hit and run and bicycle accident thing i mean a couple weeks ago me and my mom were driving and we saw a bike accident um Hmm. is there's these there's not there's not too many like back road street kind of thing or just like like just normal streets most of the roads that you need to be on are like really heavy highway like here we have famously like the 405 and the 50 mm-hmm. it's it's just very fast you know two lane roads or very fast one lane roads that's usually where the accidents end up happening are like the really fast one lanes and there's one lane roads well, I mean one lane, like oh, like you like, know, like yeah. one way every like both directions, um, yeah. or one lane both directions, um. Sorry, was I saying one way? I meant one lane. <clears throat> like, anyway, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah and, and, but it, but most of them are like very fast, and they're very windy, and I think that's what makes them a little dangerous. And there's a lot of, it's, it's just there's a lot of like, instead of having like a like a there's a lot of businesses right off of these very fast roads, and so mm. often uh you're breaking very hard because like you got this person that just didn't cut on their blinker or they broke they broke really late to turn into just some random business off to the side off of this 55 mile per hour road yeah and so it's just here in this little town it's a little dangerous but i've I've, I've, I've still i've still considered it getting one it's and it's not off my it's it's not off my radar but we'll just have to see yeah, and like I said, if, if you were to even come up here, you know, I talked to uh, Zach, my tattoo artist and everything. He has, like, a little group that he rides with. Um, they mm-hmm. have, like, some – they ride, like, the smaller smaller Harleys and stuff. And he says as long as you change the tires for a Harley and you just, you know, be safe, you always have to worry about what's going around or on around you than yourself, mm-hmm. you know. People don't have really respect for bikers or no. don't understand don't understand how 
a bike is so much different than a car and how it works. So, you know, they don't really take it into consideration of like the stoppage time, the speed up time that a bike can have compared to a car. Mm -hmm. Um, so you just gotta be safe. And here he said that like, he rides all year round, even in the winter and stuff. He, he said he hasn't had no issues. I think I'd be more comfortable riding in a bike up there just because yeah, I've driven up there before. And I don't mm. know. I feel I, I've had better driving experiences in Virginia than I have here. <clears throat> for sure. I know they get to your, um, the process to it is like really easy. You just do like a two or three day class of Virginia Western. And then you go to DMV and they'll get you set up instantly. It's really easy. Mm -hmm. I know down, here, to... down here, it's even easier. You just, you could do, oh, a, really? you could just do like, I think it's like a day course. Mm. Um, but it, you're you're spending the whole day there though. Um, yeah, it's like an eight hour thing. But, uh, but yeah, no, I I would I would like to. We'll just we'll have to see. I don't know because it does like you could be doing everything right, and still, yeah. like like my car accident, I was literally just chilling, stopped. Not your fault. Yep. <laughs> Not your fault. Yep. And just somebody not paying attention, and then boom. And it's even if I was on a bike, it'd be more devastating. <laughs> um, yeah, you probably would not be alive. No. But on that note, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I got called Timmy Turner. I put this down just because it made me laugh. I got called Timmy Turner the other day because <laughs> I wore a pink hat and a pink shirt, and I was just standing in line for my coffee, and one of the baristas walked by, and I was like, I'm sure you get this a lot, but have you? You look like Timmy Tur like ha you look like Timmy Turner right now, and I was like, I don't think I've ever gotten that once before. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, nah, but I don't. But I was like, I don't know if I've ever worn this combo before either. But I've never been called Timmy Turner. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> uh, and then I forgot I put this on here. I also had that I had some really good games of Siege. So. <laughs> Thursday, for anybody listening, that's Rainbow Six Siege. It's a game. Uh, I think was it was it Thursday that I did my morning stream. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I did my morning stream and I played some Rainbow Six and I just did standard instead of ranked. Mm -hmm. And besides like a game or two, I actually had some really good games. I played really well. And How was that? I, it was, was it like toxic? High. No, it wasn't toxic. It was it was more of just like <clears throat> depending on the lobby that I got into. Uh, like there's the classic like oh my god my teammates aren't like reinforcing or doing anything mm -hmm. <laughs> two of the matches uh, especially this one on night haven nobody did anything they were all <laughs> playing operators with a with this i was on defense they're all playing operators with a two time scope and mm -hmm. i i was Cade. i was you know i'm trying to i'm trying to play support and i went upstairs to go get the hatch and this is on the bottom site you know like where the yeah like yeah, the, mm -hmm. yeah this is bottom site i went to go upstairs <clears> to get the uh, get the hatch and I go back down, not a single wall has been reinforced, not even those two back walls that lead outside. And, and so I, I, I have enough time to throw up one and throw my Kate on it. And then they're already opening the other one. And I, and I ended up I ended up trading with the thermite. But <laughs> I'd have been I, furious. Yeah. So that kind of that was kind <clears throat> of and then uh, downstairs in Oregon, I also had teammates. They barricaded every single door on the bottom floor, <clears throat> uh, which made it terrible when yep. i was trying to come back on site from getting the hatches as well <laughs> yeah that, that makes a lot of sense sounds, sounds uh, about right but besides that i really good games and uh, i think i only lost like one or two the whole night or the whole day and, and i played probably like six or seven i'm pretty sure that's not bad and i and besides again like <clears throat> one or two of them i top fragged or was just at the top of the leaderboard so. yeah but I, I i love that siege is like so brutal i had to I was like, you know what? I actually had like a really nice and positive experience on Siege for once, so I had to, <laughs> I had to write it all, down. All the games we've been playing have been brutal to us these seasons. I, these, these I, I know. Siege, Rocket Fortnite, League. Rock, Rocket League's been. Even yeah, even Fortnite. The other day I had to get off because I got so mad at. It. <laughs> Dude, every single time we play a game, I'll play. The only game I've genuinely enjoyed playing a lot of has been um, Outlast. Like I don't know, it kind of brings me back to like the old like outlast one and whistleblower dlc and mm -hmm. i that's like a game like that's the type of games like i grew up on like with me and my like childhood friend logan we used to play like all the scary games like outlast mm -hmm. pt uh for silent hill among the sleep mm -hmm. um what is that other one there's what another the one no 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 um i have to look up the name but it's like the one that's like more like psychotic mentally and like it's like more in like in his head but it's still like I don't. I don't know how to explain it. Um, the original find... Black Ops. What do the numbers mean, Mason? <laughs> no. no. Um, <laughs> fuck. 
I'll find it. I'll no, find it. I, there, I, there's so many I can't. I, can't I know, think of them but moment. I just like to, I like scary games just because it kind of like when I'm playing like a, one of the competitive games, it's like, you know, if we're ass, it's either one of us or <laughs> it's me, and it gets like just frustrating. But when we're playing a scary like game, I feel like it's L ratio sometimes I with know. our competitive games too. Like like I like know. Rocket League, it's the classic. You know, we're we're battling for it, and then they just a random hit on the corner on their side of the field, and then it goes straight into our goal. And you know, we're we were all up attacking in overtime. And, yeah, and it's yeah, it's either in it's overtime, always in overtime or, right it's the last the, or it's the last five seconds of the match, and, it, <laughs> and it's just so crushing when it's the last five. It seconds. is soul crushing, and I just I just want to never oh. play it again. But no, Outlast has been like a good like little. It just gets me like feeling different about games yeah no i josh and i played it last night actually um <clears throat> fuck we just did we just did like one of those little mk trials but okay. no yeah it, it is it is exciting and it like it, it gets you like the heart going and like in a good way and it's mm -hmm. not like it's not like frustrating mm -hmm. which is which is nice it, it, i think not it's like... one of the first times we played games where it's uncompetitive and mm -hmm. not and not frustrating <laughs> yeah it's just like we're, we're just like messing around the whole entire time actually enjoying it and i actually like deep rock uh galactic or oh, whatever yeah, it's yeah. called deep rock, deep galactic, rock is yeah. um, it is really fun um that's been fun so i've been enjoying those things for sure mm -hmm. uh <clears throat> and then i'll try to i'll try to bump out these last two really quick so You're good i think it was friday uh <clears throat> have you ever heard of merit island Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think so. It's it's just like the island that's just down the road from my apartment complex, okay. and I was I had an affair over in Merritt Island, and I took this like scenic route, and the scenic route is basically like the way to NASA. It's like it's, mm -hmm. it's the road for anybody who might be in Florida. It's the 405, <clears throat> and it's the road that takes you out to NASA and like the space center and the visitor complex and everything. And um, it was just like it was right at sunset. And the sky was it was so beautiful and just so relaxing i was the only one on the road there and back um i was the only one on the road and you know i went there when it was sunset and then when i was coming back it was dark and i love driving in the dark and you and mm -hmm. the, the way this road is is you're either on the you're either going over this really big bridge or it's just like a little like straight of land that has coast on either side like water on either side of it <clears throat> like it was built specifically for the road almost mm-hmm uh, to connect the islands and it was just it was just really nice and then this I, I i wrote down specifically in the song uh the song sweet side by crazy cousins came on <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> if anybody would like to give that a listen uh i was just vibing and it was just it was just really nice i as i was driving i i, I may have texted and drive to write this down really quick i was driving and i was like this is really nice <laughs> um that sounds nice i remember you like you said i think you've talked about that bridge before Mm. either that so. one or there's another one called the max brewer bridge that you might see me walking like on my yeah, story yeah, that's and stuff that's, yeah. yeah that's usually i usually go there to like walk and run <clears throat> it, it's a pretty popular bridge for people exercising okay. um and that one connects you over to playlinda beach which is, they have like a nudist beach over there that's like oh that's i that's what it's popular for so that's what i just <laughs> i like to mention it um i know where we're going when i come down there in july <laughs> all right <laughs> all right you're not catching me there <laughs> <laughs> i do not it's it's mostly filled with retired folk the beach the retired parts of the beach or the retired the, the nude part of the beaches <laughs> um, the old people uh and then my last one is it has to do with last night and i kind of mentioned it to you when we were uh playing deep rock no 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 uh when we were when we just hopped into the chat before we started the show uh was i was making music <laughs> till like oh, 2 a.m yeah, yeah, last yeah. night <laughs> and i i just like so the the story was I, I heard a song and I was like man I really like the song but it also sounds really basic I wonder if I could like just get on like a music creator and just I don't know w w make something <clears throat> you gotta link you gotta link those and so we can all listen <laughs> I I will if I can figure out like if I can figure out why the exporting keeps freezing I will um but I started at like probably ten ten thirty just playing around and then once I like noticed I was like it's like two a.m. right now and I had made like five different things that i really enjoyed and, and like two of them two or three of them were just like variations of like some of <clears> the, the ones i was working on previously just because i was playing around with everything <clears throat> but I, yeah. I i had a good time doing it i never really like tried to make music before besides when i was uh when i had my guitar in maine mm -hmm. yeah. and so yeah 
that's 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 it for my look back. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So, pretty um. It was a good. It was a good week. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I, don't ha I don't have any. I didn't have anything bad going on, which is nice. Good. I don't think that I've had anything <clears throat> bad going on this week either. You know, with the situation I'm in, it's actually progressively gotten better and more positive. I guess. Um, mm -hmm. So that's gotten a lot better, and it's taken a lot of, I guess, stress off me. Um, but um, I've gotten some. I have some. It's not going to be happening yet. It's going to be happening this upcoming week. But mm -hmm. I have set up um, a tattoo appointment and a haircut appointment, and I need both of them drastically. No, nah, let your hair grow out, man. Get the no. Oh, I can't. I can't. My hair. My. I, I don't have the hair for it. But you know, um, how Punisher has his hair, um, and how what's his name has that like short ass, ass John haircut. John Bernthal. Is that? Is that yeah, yeah, is yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I know. I, that that's a nice cut. Yeah, like, like um, like, yeah. Like that. I'm gonna yeah. do. I'm gonna do that because I need to. Because me getting my neck tattooed is gonna be. Mm, mm. It's gonna be like a. Kind of like up here, I think I'm gonna start, and it's gonna go down like here, yeah, and then go down to my back. So I just needed to get it cut anyway, short. Um, so I'm gonna, I got that for Tuesday, then I got. <gasps> Is that your cat? What the hell? Chill out. Chill out. <laughs> Damn, they're beefing, bro. All right. My fault. Oh, I was both cats. <clears throat> I was both cats together. Yeah, Assholes. Um, but yeah, then I have the I'm gonna do that Tuesday, then I have the tattoo appointment Thursday. So that's gonna give me some I feel like some more confidence back, a little pep in my step. Yeah. I make uh I'm excited for it. Well, I'm dreading it, but I'm also excited for it because I know it's going to be absolutely painful and I'm gonna probably cry. I but that's okay. <laughs> At, uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be expensive. We won't think about that though. We don't. No. When we get tattoos, we don't think about the prices. <laughs> no, we don't. It's, it, and for me, if I ever go through something and I get a tattoo, it actually low-key makes me feel better. I don't know why. It's like that tattoo therapy thing that they talk about. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there's like no better form of like self-expression almost. You yeah. Know what, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, yeah. For, like I mean, for me personally, I only have the one tattoo, but it's like, it means a lot to me. And so, like, if I'm yeah. gonna, and so if I'm gonna spend money on something, I want to spend it on that. And unlike like. Like yeah, sure. Like if I buy myself, you know, a microwave oven, that's pretty cool. But <laughs> yeah. but no, yeah, I get that. I think I think it's like the um the like permanent of it is like is like when you get something like that. That's why it's probably so impactful, I guess, because not all my tattoos mean anything. Like like this doesn't mean anything. That it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't, it doesn't have to though. This is like one of the only ones that actually like means something to me. And it's for my cat Pepper. It's a pepper shaker. Oh, I thought it was and... a bishop chess piece. <laughs> no, it's a, pe it's a it's like an old school pepper shaker, like a wooden one. Yeah, no, yeah, it's um, like a, like the crank, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I got that for my cat. You know, that cat. Pff, I'm surprised it almost lived more longer than I did. It was like a twenty. It was like a twenty four year old cat. That's an old cat. Oh yeah. Um. So yeah, but I'm excited I and the um. Pepper. Yeah, you did. Yeah, mm -hmm. Pepper's great. Pepper is one of the sweetest cats. And like, obviously, you just saw the two cats <laughs> back there that don't that are brothers and sisters don't have to act right. Um, is it Doja and no. Trippy? Yeah. Yeah. They've been beefing recently. I don't know what their issue is. Do they beef I in think... real life? Do Doja Cat and Trippy Red <clears throat> beef at all? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't even think they're on each other's radars. <laughs> Probably not. Um, but no, I'm I'm. I, I have my room now, so I'm kind of decorating it and kind of making it my own, and that uh, that's making me um feel a little bit better. You know, I got the Legos I showed you and um some more yeah, cool decorations. Yeah, those, those look sick. Did you already build the one? No, nah, I built both of them right then and there. I was about to say you were sending the I pictures. Built... Like I know you just bought them that day too. That's what I thought was yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, I built them like sitting down straight. It took me like two hours. They're low key Man. more <laughs> like like the bonsai tree and like all the flowers that I have. Um, mm -hmm. the cars are low key more difficult than all those. Um, even like my like little like Lego my little Lego plants and stuff. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. Yeah. I, I, I love Legos. I forget, I, forget, I forget that they have like little Lego plants. I do too. I just like they're expensive. <laughs> mm. That's and why I, I got those I moved, cars. I move too much to yeah. 
I don't know. Yeah, Legos are not a thing you can move with. No, I, I like I, my TV that's a, that's mounted to my wall doesn't work anymore. It's just a, it's just here because I, I think it, it broke during the move down back down to Florida. Really? It, it, yeah, it worked when I was in Maine, and then when I came back down, it's like half the screen is like black and then the other part of it's just like fuzzy and i thought about doing that video of that guy that like throws the baseball at the tv and it fixes it <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i was like i wonder if i tried that how well that would go <laughs> but no just trying to stay positive just trying to you know do my own th- do my own thing <laughs> Get up. i'm i'm gonna you and y'all are gonna have problems with me in a minute um no, I'm just trying to stay positive, trying to just do my thing. I've been going out again, um, going to four good stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. I saw I saw Thomas last night. I haven't seen him in a in a brick. Oh, I miss Thomas, um, bro. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing good. Him and him and Pat. I don't remember if you remember Pat, the Asian guy that he's with, that he works with. It. You probably don't. I I, I I only met his group of friends once. Yeah. And that um, was the, then... that was the night that I had to sleep in my car because i was too drunk to drive home <laughs> hey that's safer than driving uh, home yeah no I, I was like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go risk it for the biscuit today i'm just gonna sleep until i feel better <laughs> yeah i got home at like 6 a.m and threw up <laughs> the next day but yeah carlos and ian were there so it, yeah. it was fun um we just grabbed some drinks then we went to two to grab some more drinks i was not trying to stay out late though i can't i don't have that in me anymore Mm-hmm. I don't yeah, have those, to stay those two, those two AM nights are kind of rough. Even yeah. even in Maine, my, me and my friends, we kind of call it quits around like twelve, twelve thirty, just because yeah. it's a it's a bit rough. I don't have that stamina. I'm already tired as it is, and I've had like two cups of coffee. And I wake up tired. <laughs> it's twelve thirty. Yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> it's rough out here. Well, heck yeah, man! I I keep looking at it. Is that that album that's behind you with the guy on the bike? Is that Tower of the Creator? Yeah, it's his. Uh, I don't. I could. It's so blurry, but I could still make out that that's his face. Yeah, it's, it's the Wolf album. It's like a special edition one too, where the. Uh, this is gonna go to shit probably, but I have all of his. His uh, actually, see another one. Oh, I have, I have all of his. Um, but no, nice. it's like the. Oh, I love a good pink vinyl. I know. I love. I love, I love a colored I vinyl. Only, I only own two vinyls, and one of them is uh, one of them's pink. It's the Paramore. Uh, oh yeah, that that uh. It, yeah. Yeah, this is why album. I wanted. There's a there was there was a pink after laughter vinyl that mm-hmm. I really wanted, and we saw it at Barnes. One of the few times we yep. went to Barnes mm-hmm. and Noble, we, you pointed it out to me. I should have bought it then because now they're like two hundred dollars. I should have bought it then. <clears throat> Little show and tell, guys. <laughs> minimum was I mean, called show know, and tell. I know minimum wanted it. This is probably. Shit, please don't, don't. I'll have to cut this part out of the pod. <laughs> no, you're good. This is probably my favorite album, like the way the vinyl looks, just because. I would love to get into vinyl making. I know you can do it. You can get like a press and stuff, but this one's like see through. Ooh, I like yeah, that. Yeah, um, this is ASAP's ASAP Rockies. Mm hmm. But um, yeah, that I like I like that vinyls. That one's clean. I like that. Mm-hmm. I like vinyls a lot. I got a new vinyl player. I, this brand is like okay, but eventually, eventually you have to like be careful, um, because it'll tear up your vinyls. Mm-hmm. I like vinyls. I like collecting stuff, you know, with my pops and <laughs> everything else. Yeah, my my vinyl. Uh, basically anything that i like collected all my collectibles are still in maine because i was like i'm not i'm not traveling with this stuff i, I don't no. want it to break well, heck yeah, did you uh... <laughs> he said this was the show until i was excited about yeah it's for it's anybody okay. who's wondering in my discord my like my famous thing is i like to name the pleasantly pot of sh- positive show the <laughs> they call it minimum here uh the pp show <laughs> <laughs> uh so you can you know take that how you will but i just like the i like to call it that in my discord which by the way <clears throat> shameless plug if you want to join the savvy society on discord you can go to about any any <clears throat> bio you can go to the bio of the podcast if you're here afterwards and you can actually put some of your uh positive moments that you had throughout the week or a positive news article that you ran into and me and my guests will read them we haven't had any submitted since last episode unfortunately but you know if that's something you'd be interested in definitely make sure you do that 
uh but yeah is that does that kind of conclude your your, your look back <clears throat> yeah it, it was just a normal week just uh yeah worked work was you know it was fine nothing bad about work um one of uh our friends might get a job there in the maintenance department so i make it a little less miserable <clears throat> but um even then you might be are you still yeah i'm I still, I'm still... I, don't, I don't i don't want to dox you but i don't think no, no, anybody good, from yeah, your I'm... job's gonna be <laughs> listening to this <laughs> nah um i think soon they'll probably get back to me or i'll email them um, just to see mm -hmm. what's going on because they know I wanted some uh, some time. You know, I just got my bonus and stuff, so it'll set me set me right for a little bit. Um, yeah, get a new computer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <sighs> I should. I need well, to. Frick. I I know. Deep Rock, a four gigabyte game crash of your computer is wild. It's wild. <clears throat> um, I just think that it just doesn't like certain it's, things yeah especially when it's it, it, those hordes I think, and I think like it's when it's a lot explosions and the flamethrowers yeah. happening yeah no i can i can see that i can see and that i've updated sure. all my drivers <clears throat> I, need, I need i need a i need a i'm gonna go get an airsoft can soon and blow out my computer and and mm -hmm. see if that'll help it a little bit um maybe do a dob set and reset my ram yep yeah so i need to do that do all that jazz mm -hmm. i hate when i have computer issues Cause like it took so long to build the dang thing, and then, mm -hmm. and I know any kind of issue that's hardware is going to be so complicated to fix or expensive. Expensive. <laughs> soft like software, I can I can work around. Kind of like how I told you I fixed the Bluetooth thing for certain games, but like when yeah. it comes to hardware, I'm like, oh my god, I, I do I don't want my my GPU fans to stop spinning or something like that because I, I just would I would not know what to do besides buy a new computer or buy a new gpu but even then i'm like, scared to touch it now that it's built i think matt and like pete and them kind of know a little bit more about computers so they'd probably be a good person to like ask to try to like figure out some stuff i just don't i like i love my pc i just don't know if i want to put money into it like if if i'm already gonna you know have this expensive thing i'm just going to buy a whole new one I, no that's fair so that's yeah I, I i think the consumerism in us that's kind of the whole you know yeah <clears throat> no i if i if i were to like have like a real issue with my pc i probably would take it apart and fix it per first but <clears throat> it just makes me nervous so hopefully i don't have anything wrong with i think i think soon. my plan is to like f like financially you know i've thought about is like since i already have one that it still works <clears throat> you know i just can't do a lot of it what i think what i'm thinking about is like this PC cost me about two thousand, I think. That PC I, costed you two thousand dollars. Back like seven years ago. That's wild. I mean, prices, it has, like, prices the, were cheaper then than they are now. It, it, it has like the liquid cooling. It has the um, it has uh, Bro, I, I need got, to look at all the specs and stuff. But my thing's so simple and it's <clears> running better. What are you doing? <laughs> mine's old. I got mine like a year after Dob. Mm. So I think what I'm going to do is I know I don't need to get another expensive, expensive computer. I don't need to have the top of the line like I did for this one. So I think what I'm going to do is just get a mid-grade computer, use yeah. that for gaming because it'll have new stuff. And I'll use this PC as like the streaming and try to get back into streaming and stuff. Yeah, dude, that'd be sick. I think you'd blow up if you were streaming. You're so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> Sometimes. I just, like we said the other day, our, our Snapchat's going <laughs> to... Our Snapchat's gonna it's gonna be bad for us, bro. <laughs> That's all right. We don't we don't ever save anything. <laughs> mm -mm. Thank God. Um. Well, heck yeah. <clears throat> uh, I know you're kind of like on a time crunch here, so a little bit. We're uh, doing good. The, yeah. So if that if that concludes your look back, I'm I'm cool to jump into some articles if you are. Cool. Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh. <clears throat> so the first one that I got. It comes from the optimistdaily.com, and it's, I'm going to butcher this pronunciation, even though it's American, uh, Worcester uh, Library's Feline Solution for Overdue Fees. Uh, I guess I should read the pause and pages uh, is like the sub, the sub, the sub headline for that. Um, and basically the premise of it is this library, instead of, <clears throat> they, they call it, you know, how there's March Madness, they call it mm -hmm. March Meowness. Okay. <laughs> and okay. what this library is doing is uh to cover library fees 
uh, instead of you know charging an actual fee, they charge uh, either cat pics or like cat drawings or like newspaper clippings of cats or magazine clippings of cats, and that will you can reactivate your card. It covers all your fees and everything. Oh wow! And okay. all you have to do is bring in a a photo of a cat. <laughs> wow, that's Which, awesome. Yeah, no, and it, they're, they say they're doing it in the pursuit to just make sure that they keep, uh, just keep, just make, you know, the library more accessible to people, because there's some people that just unfortunately can't afford the library fees, and this helps, this helps people, again, just, you know, keeps, keeps books, keeps knowledge, keeps the public space accessible to them, you know, if you're going to the library and you can't, you don't have a library card, you can, it's not completely useless, well, I thought but... libraries were free. <laughs> No. They are here. Uh, well, I don't think that's every. Okay. Uh, I don't think that's every city or town. I thought, I thought libraries yeah. were like government owned, and that that's what we pay our taxes for. I think that's up to the either the state or uh, even, okay, okay. even more or even more <laughs> local. Yeah. Uh, okay. In Massachusetts, it's not. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's still cool though. Yeah, yeah, and so I think it, maybe it is free and le- until you don't bring back your book. Mm-hmm. and then yeah. they charge you for it maybe that yeah. that might be that might be what it is um i've definitely which, looked a book from which, the library i think oh, i still I've, have a book from the library <laughs> i think i do too so <laughs> <laughs> uh but no but and it also mentions that you know during like COVID 19 and just different moments they the libraries once used as you know like a vaccination center uh and they hold they hold seminars there and wellness classes and crafting classes and this just helps with you know community engagement and something that just that came to my mind when i was reading the article is how you know when i lived in vinton the Mm -hmm. when they built that new public library downtown that thing was awesome it's nice yeah instead of getting off the bus uh at my house i would just wait an extra stop and get off the bus at the library Mm -hmm. and It was just not because they had like a cafe upstairs. Mm-hmm. I think it's I think it's been closed unless they reopened it. I remember I think they reopened it. Yeah, they had the cafe upstairs, which was awesome. And then they had a little games room, and they had like a yeah. Not a, it wasn't a Switch at the time. I think it was like a Wii U or something. No, no, no. It was it was the um it was like the first Switch, like the uh one with the the separate one, not like the they did Maybe, have a Switch. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, yeah. They had they had a PlayStation. They had a Switch, and i don't think they had an xbox but yeah it was just nice because like kids could like go there and mm-hmm. i remember all the high schoolers all the middle schoolers were you know playing mario kart yeah. you know playing whatever was on the playstation and it was just a, it was just a good time and i remember it was like it was just the best place to hang out after <clears> school <throat> at least for i know for a lot of bird kids um, the library and, and stuff like that's what got me into like manga and anime like I, like my mm-hmm. mom would go there she loved all of her like little love story audiobooks she would like listen to them in the car so like you rent like the little audiobook cds mm-hmm. and she'd listen to them in her car so while she was looking at them you know i would run over and i would bang through like a volume like while i was there real quick like one like one piece was in full metal were like two of the ones i, I started off on mm-hmm. and this is like when the benton library was where mcadoo's was yeah um i like i like that location too yeah, it was good, and that's what started me off. But the one all the way in a uh, cave spring is also super nice. Um, that's where I started like learning that you can play games there and stuff, because they also had like computers and stuff. I was like, yeah, dang, libraries are cool. I was like, yeah, more people yeah, need to come to libraries. Had, the one in the Vinton had a com- had computers too. I forgot about mm-hmm. that. And I used to play like cool math games and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Happy mm-hmm. Wheels and stuff like that on the computers. And we'd always find a way to get around like the firewall and everything. <laughs> yeah, um, and I I would watch like so much YouTube. Uh, after school as well on the computers it was it was just a good time i i kind of i kind of miss those days i think stuff is too accessible nowadays i think that's kind of the like too where like like we're like knowledge and like behavior and the attitude of like generations like lower than us have changed because this is like a good and a bad thing everything's accessible online so you can find everything that you want possibly you know, mm-hmm. you can learn anything you want. You can find everything. Everything is so accessible online. But that does that takes away from, like, kids. Like, when we used to do, we'd go out and, like, have fun to go outside and do stuff. Or we'd go to the library and read and gain this media through actually having to fix, physically go get it besides just having a phone or a tablet right in front of us, you know? And technolo- technology is great. Love it. 
I just think there are some downsides to it, you know? I yeah. love reading a good I book. Was, I think I don't know anybody that talks about reading books anymore. No, nah, not too many people. I have a few friends, but besides that, no, nobody talks about books that much. Um, mm -hmm. I, I do think that, you know, maybe how like when like when the library came out with that stuff uh all right minimum <laughs> uh <laughs> uh back in the back in the in the olden days uh like we didn't like like not everybody like playstations and again like the internet and computers and all that stuff and just now that was like all super accessible yet you know what i mean not every party had one Mm -hmm. And like some kids who didn't have a phone would go to the library to get on the computer and do stuff that you would typically do on your phone. Like I yep. think when I was going, I still had a phone, but yeah, that was kind of the days when you were playing uh, kick the boss and paper toss mm -hmm. like those yep. old, you know, and, um, and I do think like, I think maybe kids nowadays, I could be wrong. You know, I don't, inter I try not to interact with kids too much nowadays, to be honest, because so. they're, because they're so annoying. Uh, <laughs> True. Oh my God. But uh, I, I feel like we maybe, uh, maybe appreciated it a little more. Uh, and that's because we, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't grow up with that. You know what I mean? And so when yeah. we were, when we were finally exposed to it, we were like, holy crap. Uh, it, I feel like nowadays everybody's growing up with a computer ipad phone xbox playstation just all just all this technology all around them and it, for us at first it was kind of like a whoa this library has computers <laughs> i think it's just too easy now everything's just a little too easy that's what made people they should be working for it no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> not like necessarily working for it but you know like just being able to access it in a different way like i could just go look up any piece of information on google or find anything that i want to see on netflix you know yeah. instead of going down the street to a to library <laughs> hey, yeah. A movie. yeah dude i used to love blockbuster when i was a kid i used to run through blockbuster like it was nothing mm -hmm. i definitely see or, your argument ooh. there but i'm definitely a devil ad advocate for this because i i definitely think knowledge should be like in terms of knowledge like with google i think that should be the most accessible but then you do create this thing of like because of the internet no matter what you're trying to look up, if you wanted to look up is the sun square, if you type that specifically, you will find a news article or like something that's like, yeah, the sun is square. Here's why kind of, you know what the I earth mean? Is flat, yeah, yeah, yeah ex exactly. And so I, I, that is the one downside to the internet, I think is if somebody, and, and I, I'm mm. actually like thankful because I was thinking about in English classes, we kind of grew up at least, at least in my, some of my English classes, they talked about, how to d differentiate bias in media i don't yeah. think i don't think our parents grew up with that i can't remember if i talked about this before but i don't think our parents grew up with you know how to di how to differentiate bias in media especially online because they and, didn't have media like we do <laughs> no no that's why and, <laughs> and that also just and, and then not even just bias but then it just comes like how to find and how to realize faulty or less factual or uh less looked into information Mm -hmm. So, like, again, if somebody, you know, not too good with geography and science and, you know, <laughs> just basic worldview, you know, they're not too well informed. And then they look up, is the earth flat? And they start seeing all this stuff, you know, they might be like, oh, eh, you know, I'm yeah. angering any flat earthers in here. Get over it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Get over it. But, uh, but yeah, it's so I, that is definitely a downside. It's like the wealth of information also comes with the wealth of misinformation at the same yeah. time. I think it's a good thing, though, that they're trying to integrate like people to come back to the community to like use the library as a main focus of like knowledge and just to be able to interact with other people. You know, I think like when I go out to places like um, like a bar or like an event or something like I don't mm -hmm. do that because I'm really interested in, you know, those things i think that i try to do stuff like that just because i like crave that social aspect like i want to be able i'm not the most social person i'm like I'm, i'll say i'm like a borderline introvert and extrovert like i'm right there in the middle i can do yeah. both whenever depending on how my mood is but i do definitely crave like that social activity mm -hmm. you know talking to people i've never met seeing you you, you speak to 100 people and that'll open up so many doors in your life i i got taught that by the manager at cheddar's he said that, you know, he liked me a lot, you know, he knew that I was like a little quiet and stuff, but he said like, you know, the more you talk to a person and more people, the more opportunities you can have in your, in your life. Yeah. Just by talking to true. people, yep. you know?
So I think that's definitely a good thing to be able to start again is trying to get people back to community because especially with COVID, everybody kind of just, well, you had to, you had to sit at home and do nothing and not interact. So mm-hmm. it's kind of good that, you know, there's a lot of stuff happening around Roanoke still. Um, I, I guarantee there's stuff happening in Florida. Oh, um, all, all the time. And I was going to, I was going to, I was going to mention that is I <clears> love, <throat> and I wish, I wish more local governments would not i don't know if investing is necessary but we just promote more like and try to throw more events for communities Mm -hmm. because like on facebook all the time like they're they're, you know people usually upload their whatever event they're having on facebook and it just gets pushed to you depending on if you have your location on and i'm always saying interested 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 to all these things just so i get reminded that they're there because i i love these opportunities and i don't especially since moving back to florida I haven't taken, you know, I haven't gone out to many of these things, but when I do, it's such a pleasant experience. Cause yeah, I'm, I'm definitely an introvert. Uh, I don't, it's not that I don't like people haven't t- talked to me. I'm an introvert. So it's not that I don't like it. It's just kind of like, uh, you know, I'm a little socially awkward and no, I get that. And, and I get, I kind of get my dose of social interaction just by being around other people interacting, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, but what is nice is sometimes, you know, depending on what the outing is, I will, have somebody come up and talk to me or I'll go up and, you know, say something to them. And then I do make a nice interaction and a friend potentially out of that. And so that's always nice. Kind of like how I met my best friend, Joe, uh, who yeah. lives in, who lives in Maine. Uh, I went to a Portland newcomers group and mm-hmm. if I had just been like, no, nah, it's gonna be so awkward. Like, I don't really want to meet new people. And if I'd stayed, I would have, I would have missed out on pretty much all of my friends that I met in Maine besides the people that I worked with. Cause through him, I met like two of our other good buddies. And then because of an outing that I was with, with Joe, I met two of my other good friends that are up there. And <laughs> so I, there's I definitely that's... a benefit to like, you can meet you never... people online too, but yeah. like, it's something different about meeting in person. You know, my goal for you, my little, my little job for you is that, um, when I come down to Florida, I need you to find stuff for us to do. Oh, easy. Like, I, I need you to find... <laughs> Sorry, my cat looks cute. I have to take a picture. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, Dallas yeah, definitely... acts hard until his cat's looking cute. <laughs> no, yeah, no shit. No, she's got, like, her head, like, she's, like, on the pillow, and she's, like... Dude, when cats are, like, laid sideways, it is it is just the cutest thing. Especially when they it, is her is her belly exposed. Let me see if it'll pop up on camera. Oh yeah, her head's just like hanging, <laughs> All bro. All sprawled out, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can definitely find us some stuff though. I'm especially since I'm a yeah. Your place is in Orlando, like, or not, no, I don't think you're not doing that anymore. But anyway, you have to fly in from Orlando. I didn't. And even yeah. the, and even where I live, so many towns in here yeah. in between, like easily accessible. You got the beach. There, we will have no shortage of things to do. <laughs> I'll fucking I'll fucking rent us a moped or something so we can drive around like two moped like two Vespas like nice two, ones. Two Vespas, <laughs> bro. We can we can fly around Florida on Vespas. Have you uh, have you ever been on, like an airboat before? Like with the big fans, like mm-hmm. the big fan. Oh, I was gonna say because there's a lot of there's a lot of those here that I haven't done one yet. Um, oh, they're fun. Oh, I they're moved fun. A, I moved away right before my mom had some tickets for us and I moved away before uh, I got to do it. Uh, um. Yeah, no, spe- there's there's so much to do, especially if we just go to Orlando a little bit or go a little down south to like. And, and I Beach. definitely want to go to still want to go to Star Wars Land. Oh yeah, easy. Yeah, easy. I definitely still want to do that. So that's like really all I got planned. Like for Florida, like the Florida trip. I mean, and now that everything's changed, I just kind of do my own thing. Kind of, I kind of want to go to the beach a little bit. I kind of want to. Yeah. Maybe we can go to some of the bars and or maybe a club down there just to see. I mean, I'm down. I'm I'm down for whatever. I would. There's there's so much to do here, and it actually gets a little overwhelming sometimes. Yeah, I know. I bet. Uh, and there's because there's so many options. <laughs> the other day, I actually tweeted about it. Um, <laughs> I saw somebody post a, a video of them at the beach, and I thought, wow, they're so lucky. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> I live at the beach. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, you're like ten minutes away. <laughs> yeah. So. You no, know, when we when we get you down here, they'll definitely. We'll definitely have a good time. Uh, but yeah, I think that's kind of it for me. I know, I know you gotta get ready and be somewhere. Um, are you are you are you ready to close things out? Did you have anything you wanted to mention? 
No, I don't think so. Um, like I said, I've just been trying to keep up. There's like a bunch of I've like like I told you I think last podcast I was on I've integrated my whole entire TikTok. I've been trying to stay off social media as much, and it's definitely helped my like mental out. Um, but um, I've like integrated my whole TikTok from like low key more depressing to this like hope core, this like happiness core, like you know, mm-hmm. like very um very positive and also like more mental reflections and stuff like i sent you i think i sent you one on instagram that you know you even said to yourself you're like that like it was like the art of letting go you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um and like shit like I that is that definitely post, yeah. shit like that has definitely been like helping me out a lot just being able to like i think like i understand like all of it like the like the letting go and the you know being positive and all that stuff it's just very hard sometimes to put that into practice it's it's yeah. so much easier to be negative and but when you're actually staying positive and you're just trying to not worry about much and you're trying to just do your own thing make yourself happy it honestly it just benefits you so much better and you don't even realize it it it's it's a process and it's a it's a forever process because you're always Mm going to be put with these situations or you're going to always have these thoughts that can can bring you down if you let them you know and so it is you have to make an active effort to posit positivity is not just like yes it is something that just is just there but at the same time positivity is it's a mindset happiness is a mindset like i do think that's a real thing like sure like yeah and and that's not like the whole like i'm not allowed to be sad because i could just choose to be happy like no that's the the emotions don't work that way you know what i mean like i'm not allowed to be angry because i i people tell me i should just be happy like no that's yeah that's not how that works but um yeah, I'm glad that I'm glad that your TikTok is just filled with uh, Jinxie and Sketch screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Sketch is so funny. He is my favorite. I'm glad that we made like a good person famous. Yeah, and I've not seen I, I've not seen one bad the, thing about Sketch. No, have you even seen the TikToks of like like uh, it's like girlfriends go up to your brother or go up to your brother go up to your yeah. go up to your boyfriend and just go hello brother or hey there hello, brother, brother. <laughs> and, they're, and they're like. Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. I did. I did at the bar yesterday. Good, I just good want, games, I just good to players. See. I just wanted to see, and I was like, I was with the Thomas just walked in, and there was like a bunch of people around me. I was like, "What's up, brother?" And somebody was like, <laughs> "Somebody screamed at the other side of the bar," and I was like, "Yes." <laughs> no, I, I, I love just those kind of like mass social, yeah, like. Like I like every, I see everybody's on the same page. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's kind of like it kind of makes me. It takes me back to like sixty nine. <laughs> Always being a thing where like like whenever something says sixty nine, you just hear you just you just hear somebody go nice, nice, <laughs> and, that, and that's nice. it. You just hear it, nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no sketch, sketch, good. Oh, dude. there's a there's a funny story. There's this guy. He's new. His name's Julius, and he's gonna be third shift on maintenance. Um, Don't say so turn out the docs to people. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I, that's why I didn't give. Him, that's why I didn't give his name. But um, one of the uh, like we we were all talking about like a machine, and one of the engineering managers came in like a like a kind of like a straight straight edge like you know don't play no games kind of dude. You know he just likes to do like his like job and that's it. Well, he came in. And we were talking about like money, I think, because like there's like a tie bar broken on a machine or whatever. And they were talking mm-hmm. about how much it cost. And my boss talk, was talking to this other manager and we were all sitting there and he was like, yeah, so how much is the tie bar? It's like, we need to we need to figure out what we're doing, like how much we're going to be paying for these things. And he was like, yeah, it was it's a uh, it's a uh, sixty nine thousand dollars. <laughs> and this kid, this new kid, he was like. 69 <laughs> and, and all of us just all of us just looked at him we were like <laughs> we were like no way because he said this straight in front of like we somebody to, that, that you probably shouldn't have said that promotion right now <laughs> he said he it right in front of somebody that you shouldn't have said it in front of but it made it so much funnier and after he left we started dying laughing i i, I love that i love that <laughs> i do i i remember uh i remember at aldi my my boss we were we were looking at a inventory report and one of the it was just one of one of the products on the floor you know it's just after doing inventory and i was reading them out and i said 69 and we just both looked at each other and like smiled a bit <laughs> and, then, and then looked back down and just kept kept reading stuff it's just it's just nice little 
like everybody's on the same page kind of thing yeah. that you mentioned yeah it's it's nice <laughs> hey there brother <laughs> <laughs> oh man <sighs> um but yeah i know this this was a this was a good episode um yeah all right thank you for coming on again yeah of um, course anytime yeah no uh oh you don't have to get mad on Love oh yeah I'm, I'm excited for next week i just just before Is the stream matt? started yeah it's matt yeah just before let's the stream go. just before the stream started we picked a time let's so I'm, I'm very i'm very curious how that's gonna go i'm excited for that for sure um dom needs to get on one too Dom slacking bro I, I i haven't asked him yet but i oh, okay, i asked okay. i asked him about to be a voice in the in the fortnite thing that i've been kind of talking about and he said no and so i'm scared that he won't he won't want to do this um oh that's okay but if I he just, doesn't want to no and it's fine i just i don't want to bother i don't want to make him feel bad for not for not if i <laughs> i'm not gonna ask you because i don't want you to feel bad if you say no <laughs> yeah. it's kind of it's kind of that stupid mindset but um but no no i'm a i'm excited for that um thank you for coming on again uh, I know I was supposed to have you on last week too, but because of That's the whole okay. because of the whole cancellation thing, I was like, and then I didn't let people know, and then I would have had to change the time and the guest. I was like, ah, I'm just not gonna, I'm just not gonna worry about that right now. Um, and besides, I didn't Very have good. a lot of good things going on last week. So yeah, me neither. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have bad things going on, but it wasn't good. I wouldn't have had much to say. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I mean, I don't really do much day to day, unfortunately. Like, I just I've been going to the gym consistently and trying to just you know work on myself. Yeah, I, could, I, but... I saw you having trouble walking in through the door earlier. I've I've, I've seen you know your shoulders. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no. Um... But yeah, I'm just, it's, it's just like day to day. Like I'm not trying to put myself into a cycle because I think my issue is I'll put myself into a pattern and then I get like comfortable in that pattern. Yeah, so I'm trying to just, break it. no, so I just, I'm kind of trying to do like stuff here and there and like not be like as consistent with stuff because I think that's my issue is I'll, I'll get stuck, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't want to get stuck. I want to keep on doing new things. So with summer, it's going to have a lot of opportunities for a lot of new stuff uh i'm gonna try paddle boarding for the first time in the summer oh, paddle boarding is um, the best Where, so, we should do we should do oh dude i think ooh, we can do that when, when, you're, when you're coming mm -hmm. uh there's Pause. good <clears throat> <laughs> all right uh, <laughs> god damn it uh <laughs> all right <laughs> when, when you come down uh there's the the bioluminescent paddle boarding that they do mm where you know the the water glows because of the the the, the plankton oh and that's awesome we could we could either kayak or paddleboard <laughs> during that that Dude, would, i would definitely be down for that. that that'd be cool as fuck i i've never like gone out on the water while the bioluminescent stuff is i've just been there like i would me and my friend we would pour water like are we because mm -hmm. we had walked the bridge a lot at night and we would just like pour our water bottles and watch the light light up there's also this one time there's a street light above the bridge that we were walking under and the light went off and all the fish under the light mm -hmm. just like shot off and scattered and it lit the whole water up. It was like a scene out of the life of Pi where the water's glowing. Like yeah. it was it was beautiful. Oh, and we should like, definitely do that. Yeah, and every once in a while you'll catch dolphins and manatees coming up and out of the water and it's I remember there's these two dolphins pl they were either playing or they were chasing fish. I don't know. But they were just in front of us just whoa, you know, going around. It was so it was so beautiful. So we'll have to We'll do definitely that. have to Yeah, we'll definitely have to. Um I know I'm going July fourth weekend too, so there's probably gonna be a lot of fireworks and stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, oh dude, so, fireworks on the coast are the best. Yeah, so I'm definitely excited for that. I'm excited. I need I need a I need a vacation, I need a break. I think next year Thomas and Pat and I were talking, they wanna go uh, Pat's from Laos. Don't know. And, um thailand i think okay don't don't get me on that um but um pat supposedly is like family is like really wealthy over there in laos like one of the kind of like they're pretty like like pretty yeah. they're like important people i guess um so uh he you know was gonna bring us over there to see his family and see uh all right um <laughs> Shadow Clone Jutsu. All right. <laughs> he was gonna. He's gonna show us. The audio us, version uh, of this is scuffed. <laughs> I know, scuffed. Sorry, guys. You gotta um, go watch the video if you're listening. If yep. you're listening to this on Spotify, you gotta go watch the the, the YouTube upload. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, he's gonna teach, just like show us like how like it is to like be like royalty over there, and I'm like, dang, that sounds exciting, and it's not that expensive dang, to go yeah. Thailand. 
It's, it's you're like, going to get assassinated, though. <laughs> probably. Probably. No, I don't, who knows? I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's like $2,000 to go, and that's it. Like, And like they take that's, care of everything and the, else. And that's it. Oh, well, I got, even then, that's crazy. <laughs> well, I, I mean, guess, that's I pretty guess cheap to go to the country. Is taken, uh, yeah, I was going to say, if that's if everything else is taken care of, then that's not too bad. I wouldn't to, know, because I've never been out of country. But. To go to the... Uh, well, for when I went to Ireland, it cost me 4500 And then yeah. to go to Japan, to go to Japan like <laughs> I want to, it's... Five to six thousand for eleven to fourteen day trip. That sounds about right. Well, so, oh, eleven to that's actually. Yeah, I mean, you hit you hit trip. all the main. You'd hit all the major cities. Does that, that cover one. like potential food and expenses? It covers. And stuff I like think. That? I think it covers like when you a place to stay. It co- each in each area with a tour guide and everything. It covers. I think the food involved in with that place you're staying. But if you were to go anywhere else, you have to pay for it yourself. Um. And like you know, you buy your own stuff, so it'll it'll uh, you have to add that in the cost. But, but like that's for like the plane ticket, the place to stay, the food that's there. Are we doing a cat show and tell? Oh yeah, I heard, her the, I heard her at the door, so I had to I had to grab her. Again, if you're listening to the audio version of this, you can come see some cats on screen right now. Go come over to the YouTube the YouTube upload. <laughs> this one's this 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 cat's name's Yo Yo. Its new name's Piss Plant. Because it's it likes to plant. piss in my plants, <laughs> it's if it, it digs in my plants and pisses in them. This plant, look. You're so cute. The whole you now? A couple months, maybe like five no, months. Not <clears throat> Say I'm sheepy. I'm sheepy. <laughs> Eepy kitty. Very cute, very sweet cat. When it's like this. Every other instance, three o'clock in the morning, loves to just tear shit up and be super loud. So. Pineapple last night. Uh, I think you've. I, I think it's just like been in the either the podcast or the stream show. Was running up the headboard behind me, <laughs> and she'll do that in the middle of the night. And sometimes it's to get in the window, even though she could easily. I've seen her do just, it. Just get it, get on my desk and get mm-hmm. to the window, but she likes to run up on the headboard and jump down into the window. Um, <laughs> cute uh <laughs> and last night she did that and i didn't hear her waking up but when she jumped down she jumped down on my stomach <laughs> it's oh, <yeah. laughs> three in the morning you know i'm dead asleep and they're just <gasps> on, on my stomach i was like oh my god <laughs> yeah cats be doing their own thing bro they don't care uh, to be we're just not- in their way Something that, yeah, exactly. Something that I think about, and this is why I, I love, I'm an animal lover and I love dogs, but I, I think it's safe to say that I love cats more. And I think it's because oh, yeah. it's the uncertainty with a cat. Like with the dog, I know when I walk in, Bentley is going to be on the couch, wagging his tail, you know, just waiting to see who's coming through the door. Or, yeah. you know, when I'm coming out of the bathroom, I know that he's in the living room and I'll say, come here, Bentley. And then he'll, like, like the dogs are pretty predictable, but a cat, yeah. you know. I can't. So sometimes I, I, I come in. Look it up. <laughs> like, like going up. <laughs> yeah, like 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 with my cat, I'll you know I'll come into the house and I'm like, where's pineapple? <laughs> I just can't like, where is she? And I'll like, out of the corner of my eye, I'll look at the very top of my pantry that I haven't even like looked at in the past year, and there she is eating the plants up there and i'm like what i don't even we have plants up there like (laughs) like i didn't even know that we had anything up there or you know i'll be in the bathroom and you know i close i closed the door didn't know she was in there and while i'm sitting on the toilet all of a sudden she just (laughs) pokes her head out of the bathtub and i'm like what are you doing you're like what the hell (laughs) where did you come from (laughs) and so i that's what i literally love about cats is they're just so random they'll do they do whatever they want oh yeah (laughs) Yeah. And I don't know if y'all. I don't know if the mic's picking it up. She's going crazy. I can hear her. Yeah. I think she, I think she see. I think she like sees birds and mm-hmm. just goes crazy. Or squirrels. We have a, this is it's squirrel season down here right now. I've had so many Ooh. squirrels and we just bought a new jar of unsalted peanuts. And so every once in a while, when I walk outside, I just quickly. You just throw your nuts at the squirrel. Yeah, I try not to let my mom know that I'm doing it, just because <laughs> she doesn't like it when all the squirrels come up. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. Um, she's like, they get too comfortable and they get too close. <laughs> That's true. I, I've gotten to pet a squirrel before. This was, uh, there's this really I've beautiful... I've grabbed one before. Oh, right. <laughs> there's this, <laughs> there's this beautiful little town called Vieira and they have like this like nice little shopping center and I yeah. get, and the squirrels aren't afraid to get friendly over there. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so, uh, this one time right outside this five guys, 
<laughs> the squirrel came up to me and it was just so curious and so i was able to touch his touch his little forehead and then he ran away um <clears throat> uh, but yeah love, love, mm. love it's, your mom, it's your mom's birthday today right it is it is so your mom happy birthday uh, I will. I'm gonna tell her you said happy Easter, but not happy birthday. Okay, thanks. No, I'm just, cool. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's yeah, yeah, it's her birthday. Also, again, happy Easter to anybody listening, watching. Happy, happy Easter. Easter. Happy I'm birthday go... to anybody else's birthday. It might be. I think there's a lot of people's birthday today on my Facebook. It is at least. <laughs> I think it's just my mom for me. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah, Dallas. Thanks again for coming on. I appreciate of course. you. Of course. I always um, love doing this. Yeah. And uh, so for anybody that might be listening, again, this show is held live every Sunday. It's Sunday morning, Easter time. The times di- differentiate because I like to kind of leave it up to my guest as to when when we do it, as long as it's in the morning um, or at least starts of the morning. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much again. I've been Savvy or Savvy Savian. My guest today was Pavoxo or Dallas. I'm sure you can look forward to seeing him on uh, my streams and I'm sure more episodes of the Pleasantly Positive show. Um, For sure. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you all so much. You can find us on Spotify, YouTube, uh, <clears throat> Apple Podcasts, anywhere that you get your podcast. And and yeah, I will. Uh, I'll see everybody in the next one. Uh, it should be. I actually already do have a the time. It'll be 11 a.m. Sunday. I think I don't know what day that is. I think it's the sixth or the seventh. Um, it, 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 it'll be 11 a.m. Yeah, 11 a.m. Eastern time on the seventh. We're gonna have Aerodactyl or Matt. Uh, he is also part of the New Friend Plus crew. We had Dream Deaver on uh, last podcast, and Matt. They have and they have a channel together called New Friend Plus, and Matt's gonna be on there. And Matt's gonna be on the next episode so love matt it's gonna be fun yeah. matt matt's matt's awesome so that'll, <clears throat> that'll be a good one for sure but yeah everybody again have a good one thank you so much and i will see you in the next one might be live later might not be i'll let y'all know in the in the discord peace <laughs> so long brother <laughs> <laughs> see you <ya>, brother <laughs> all right <laughs>